innovations are changing the demand for the types of skills needed on the job and competitions of this nature are aimed at bringing out the best in students. 118 competitors from 10 different skills areas are here to gain substantial experience, showcase skills and uncover personal aptitude. The overall objective of the competition is to promote technical and vocational skills, give Namibians a chance to compete and showcase their skills, give trainers and experts an opportunity to benchmark their standards and skills with the best in the world. Technical and vocational education and training should aim to empower young Namibians to become job creators and not job seekers. Also, of profound importance is that the effective processes and strategies that lead to the acquisition of all the diverse technical and vocational skills that will be showcased at this exposition should become commonplace in our TVET institutions, classrooms, and workshops. And observing the various exhibitions on display, it is evident that Namibia has skills potential that if harnessed could make students industry ready. It is therefore one field that school leavers must pursue as a career. I have seen so many young people that opt to repeat grade 10 and grade 12 several times. In fact, as a minister of finance for so many years, there was a time that we had to spend more than 400 million Namibian dollars in one year to get young people to repeat grade 10. And some of them were repeating it for the second, third time because they were not willing to go for vocational training because they think vocational education is inferior. The shortage of qualified VET trainers is another issue that needs to be addressed. And the Harambe Prosperity Plan intends to increase this number from 15,000 to 25,000 by 2020. Daniel Hengumbi, NBC News, Ventura.